Knowing the pH and electrical conductivity, or EC, of your irrigation and drainage water can help you to grow better and more consistent crops. Testing procedures aren't difficult and can be done at minimal cost. The following video shows a process for carrying out a practical on-site pH and electrical conductivity test on water. This testing procedure can be used for water samples from bores, irrigation, surface and drainage waters. There is a range of equipment available for testing pH and EC. The equipment being used in the following video is a water sample, pH EC meter and probes, distilled water for rinsing, and record keeping sheets. The following are some tips for testing water samples. Test water samples as soon as possible after collection. Filter samples if they contain excessive particulate matter. Testing is best conducted at room temperature. Before each use, ensure the testing equipment has been calibrated according to the manufacturer's recommendations. For monitoring water supplies, samples should be taken from the same location each time. Take a clean container that hasn't been used for fertilisers or anything that might contaminate the sample. Rinse the container three times in the water to be tested. Minimise the aeration of the sample as much as possible and take the sample from the same depth as the foot valve and as far from the water's edge as possible. For drainage water, the sample collection container should be rinsed three times and aeration minimised when collecting the sample. Pumps or hoses should be run prior to collecting the sample to ensure the sample is representative of the water source being tested. Turn the meter on and shake excess water off the probes and then carefully place the pH and EC probes into the sample. Ensure the EC probe is submerged to the hole to get an accurate reading. Wait for the reading to stabilise, then record the result. Before testing the next sample, rinse the probes in the distilled water and carefully shake off excess water to make sure the samples aren't contaminated. Tips for maintenance of pH and EC equipment. Calibrate the meter regularly according to the manufacturer's directions. Store the EC probe dry and pH probe moist according to the manufacturer's instructions. Avoid scratching the pH probe. Store the meter in a cool dry place and protect from the weather. For more on water properties and water testing, refer to managing water in plant nurseries. More information can be found in the Biosecure HACCP guidelines. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to Birdwood Nursery, Native Plant Wholesalers and Palmwood Tropicals. For further information, contact your State or Territory Association or NGIA.